will celebrate this gift of love we will celebrate the son of god who loved us and gave us love we'll shout your praise O king you give us joy nothing else can bring we'll give to you our offering in celebration praise come on and celebrate 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 and sing celebrate and sing to the king come on and celebrate 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 and sing, celebrate and sing to the King. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God. And the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to, to Almighty, Almighty God, God and, and to you, you my brothers and sisters. sisters that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask Blessed Mary, our Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, strength of those who hope in you, graciously hear our pleas. And since without you mortal frailty can do nothing, grant us always the help of your grace that in following your commands, we may please you by our resolve and our deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Naboth has been stoned to death. A reading from the first book of the Kings, chapter 21, verses 1 to 16. Naboth the Jezreelite had a vineyard in Jezreel, beside the palace of Hab, king of Samaria. And Hab the king said to Naboth, Give me your vineyard, that I may have it for a vegetable garden because it is near my house and I will give, it, give you a better vineyard for it or if it seems good to you I will give you its value in money but Naboth said to Hab the Lord forbid that I should give you the inheritance of my fathers and Nab went to his house vexed and sullen because of what Hab the Jezreelite had said to him for he had said I will not give you the inheritance of my fathers. And he lay down on his bed and turned away his face and would eat no food. But Jezebel his wife came to him and said to him, Why is your spirit so vexed that you eat no food? And he said to her, Because I spoke to Naboth the Jezreelite and said to him, Give me your vineyard for money. Or else, if it please you, I will give you another vineyard for it. And he answered, I will not give you my vineyard. And Jezebel his wife said to him, Do you now govern Israel? Arise and eat bread, 
and let your heart be cheerful. I will give you the vineyard of Naboth, the Jezreelite. So she wrote letters in Hab's name and sealed them with his seal. And she sent the letters to the elders and the nobles who dwelt with Naboth in his city. And she wrote in the letters, Proclaim a fast and set Naboth on high among the people and set two base fellows oppo opposite him. And let them bring a charge against him, saying, You have cursed God and the king. Then take him out and stone him to death. And the men of his city, the elders and the nobles, who dwelt in his city, did as Jezebel had sent word to them, as it was written in the letters which she had sent to them. They proclaimed a fast and set Naboth on high among the people. And the two base fellows came in and sat opposite him, and the base fellows brought a charge against Naboth in the presence of the people, saying, Naboth cursed God and the king. So they took him outside the city and stoned him to death with stones. Then they sent Jezebel, saying, Naboth has been stoned, he is dead. As soon as Jezebel heard that Naboth had been stoned and was dead, Jezebel said to Hab, Arise, take possession of the vineyard of Naboth, the Jezreelite, which he refused to give you for money, for Naboth is not alive, but dead. And as soon as Hab heard that Naboth was dead, Hab arose to go down to the vineyard of Naboth, the Jezreelite, to take possession of it. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let our response be, Give heed to my groaning, O Lord. Give heed to my groaning, O Lord. To my words give ear, O Lord. Give heed to my groaning. Attend to the sound of my cries, my King and my God. Our response, Give heed to my groaning, O Lord. You are no God who loves evil. No sinner is your guest. The boastful shall not stand their ground before your face. Our response? Give, Give heed to my groaning, O Lord. You hate all who do evil. You destroy all who lie. The deceitful and the bloodthirsty men the Lord detest. Our response? Give, Give heed to my groaning, O Lord. Lord. Blessed are those who are hearing the word, hold it fast in an honest and good art, and bring forth fruit with patience. Hallelujah. 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 The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Chapter 5, verses 38 to 42. Jesus said to his disciples, You have heard that it was said, An eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. But I say to you, Do not resist one who is evil. But if anyone strikes you on the right cheek, turn to him the other also. And if anyone would sue you and take your coat, let him have your cloak as well. And if anyone forces you to go one mile, go with him two miles. Give to him who begs from you, and do not refuse him who would borrow from you the gospel of the lord praise, praise to you lord, lord jesus, jesus christ. christ not retaliation 
rather love. In the gospel today we heard, I say this to you, do not resist one who is evil. Rather, pray for that person. Rather, bless that person. As the Lord himself says, bless those who persecute you. All these, when a person does evil against you, for instance, when a person speaks bad words against you, you get irritated, you get angry. When a person gets angry with you, you also get, tend to get angry with him and shout and there comes a fight. Rather, the Lord tells us today, not retaliation, rather love. Do not resist the one who is doing evil against you. Because it is in this our flesh dies. The anger in our flesh dies. Our faith is tested. For instance, there, is, there was a famous preacher in Chennai and while he was preaching, a man climbed to the stage and hit him while the, while the preaching was going on. And when he hit, the policeman came and all the who were volunteers came and caught of him, caught hold of him and they were trying to hit him back. But the man said, leave him, let him go. He said, if the Lord had not allowed him to hit me, he wouldn't have come. He did so and he said, it is to test my anger. It is test to, it is a test for my love for my brother. If a person speaks evil against you, if a person hits you, what would be our reaction? We tend to hit back, but rather says, give the other cheek as well. When we give other cheek, then it is sure that our flesh of getting retaliation to that other person dies, already died. When a person speaks ill about us, and if we pray for that person, then our flesh of anger has died. Then we can take up our cross and follow the Lord. If one speaks ill about others, or if one hits us, and if we react it, then our flesh of anger, our flesh of retaliation has not died. It is a test of faith. Whether we belong to the Lord or belong to the worldly thing. Therefore, the Lord says, unless a wheat of grain falls and dies, it cannot bear fruit. If you, are, if you are on to follow me, take up your cross and follow me. And therefore, even in the first reading, we heard about Naboth. His land was taken by the king. He could not do anything. He took everything. But when Naboth re resisted, that he said he, he did not want to give, king should have left him. Rather, he forcefully took his land. In that, it is very clear, his flesh of retaliation has not died. My brothers and sisters, today the Lord invites us that our flesh of anger, hatred, jealousy, all that are evil should die, then only we can take up our cross and follow the Lord. Retaliation 
is not the answer rather love love of our brothers and sisters amen Franciscan friars in India offer masses for the following intentions for the soul of Antoni Amma for the soul of Philomen Camons for the soul of Edward Chandra Babu by family members for the soul of Pamela David on the 16th day remembrance by Andrew and Priscilla David for the soul of Brian Jacob for the soul of for all the holy soul souls in purgatory for the soul of Corinne and Carlden de Silva for the soul of Norman Quintal and today Cheryl Smith celebrates his birthday he offers us a thanksgiving Thanksgiving Mass, Leonard Benson and family, Land Thanksgiving Mass offered by Lydia Rose, and Thanksgiving Mass offered by Wenki and Roxy family. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May the, may the Lord, Lord accept, accept the sacrifice at your hands for the, the praise and glory of his name, 
for our good and the good of all His holy Church. O God, who in the offerings presented here provide for the twofold needs of human nature, nourishing us with food and renewing us with your sacrament, grant, we pray, that the sustenance they provide may not fail us in body or in spirit, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift, lift them up, up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in you we live and move and have our being. And while in this body we not only experience the daily effects of your care, but even now possess the pledge of life eternal. For having received the first fruits of the Spirit, through whom you raised up Jesus from the dead, we hope for an everlasting share in the Paschal mystery. And so with the, all the angels we praise you, as in joyful celebration we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Dying, you destroyed our death. Rising, you restored our lives. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus. Come in glory. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that are held as worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and George Anthony Swami, our Bishop, and all the clergy and the entire people you have gained for your own. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, 
in the unity of the Holy Spirit. All glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, who by the will of the Father and work of the Holy Spirit through your death gave life to the world, free me by this, your most holy body and blood from all my sins, from every evil. Keep me always faithful to your commandments and never let me be departed from you. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are truly present in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you more than anything in this world, and I hunger to receive you sacramentally, but since I cannot receive communion at this moment, feed my soul at least spiritually. I unite myself wholly to you now, as I do when I actually receive you in Holy Communion. Never let me drift away from you. Amen. Amen.
Let us pray. As this reception of your Holy Communion, O Lord, foreshadows the union of the faithful in you, so may it bring about unity in your church through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. I just keep trusting my Lord. As I walk alone, I just keep trusting my Lord, and He gives me a soul. Though the storm clouds darken the sky, oh the heavenly train, I just keep trusting my Lord. He will never fail. He's a faithful friend. He's a faithful friend. Such a faithful friend. Such a faithful friend. I can count on him. I can count on him. Till the very end. Till the very end. I just keep trusting my Lord. As I walk alone, I just keep trusting my Lord, and He gives me a song. Though the storm clouds darken the sky, oh the heavenly trail, I just keep trusting my Lord. to St. Sebastian in time of pandemic corona. O St. Sebastian, faithful soldier of our eternal King, you remained courageous during the challenging times because you recognized the redemptive power in the suffering, death, and resurrection of Jesus. You endured the pains of arrows that pierced your body because you had already been pierced by the sword of God's word into your soul. Thus, following our Lord Jesus Christ, you healed all people who have been suffering physically and mentally 
through plagues and pestilence. We have heard many testimonies of healing from people around the world, and we know in our own history that you have protected and healed people from black death and other pandemic diseases and restored them back to their normal lives with the nature, with their neighbors, and with our merciful Father. O true disciple of our divine physician, look upon your devotees who are afflicted heavily by the deadly virus of corona. We have been deprived of many people's lives and relations. Being isolated from each other, we have become weak and vulnerable. Yet, like you, we dare to take refuge in the Lord rather than to trust in the power of this world, because it is God alone who is the author and perfecter of our lives. O holy martyr of our Christian faith, we remember gratefully all the generous and courageous people who have risked their lives to take care of the victims of this contagious virus. We ask you to bless them with good health. We request you to strengthen our faith and regulate our breath. Restore our sight to see the image of God in all creation. Purify our love that we love and respect our neighbors with dignity and honor. And give us a sincerity of heart to stretch ourselves in solidarity with each other as Jesus did to manifest the kingdom of God in our midst, where he lives and reigns with the Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, forever and ever. Amen. Saint Sebastian, glorious martyr of Christ and unfailing hope of the afflicted, grant us good health to serve our God. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let us pray. Hear us, O God, our Saviour, and by the powerful intercession of St. Sebastian, deliver us from the present affliction and fear of the pandemic virus corona. Merciful Father, graciously listen to our prayers and heal our infirmities of body and soul, so that knowing your forgiveness, we may ever rejoice in your saving health. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Lord bless us. May he protect us from all evil and lead us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.